What's good, BBL Fitz fans? It's been a while, it's a new season, and we are back with some brand new content. I get a lot of questions, people asking how they can dress better, how they can apply kind of what we see the BBL players wearing, uh, how they can take that style and kind of incorporate it into their own style so that come game day, they're looking their best. So in this series of videos, we're gonna be looking at BBL style icons, how we can take inspiration from them and put that into our own personal style, develop our own personal looks, and make sure we are always best dressed at the games. Before we get started, just gotta say, don't be stealing no looks. Style and fashion is very personal. Um, so make sure you're not kind of just copying and pasting what someone's doing. Instead, we're gonna kind of look at tips, look at inspiration, and maybe find a way to work that into our own style. So we're gonna start with the British basketball fits, man of the moment. Mr. Josh Steele. And when you think of Josh Steele and you think of style and you think about what he wears, the first thing you're gonna come across, the first thing your mind's gonna go to is Converse, of course. And I think this is a great tip to start on is to get shoes that are versatile, that can go with anything. Uh, either go for the classic white or the black, I'd say. Um, and maybe once you've got them, you can kind of pepper in a bit of colors, something a bit more interesting. They've got a lot of kind of soul styles they've started doing recently sort of chunkier ones uh more kind of boot ones so if that's your thing maybe go for that if you're more a fan of the low top you do have the low converse um but i'd say kind of go for vans if you're gonna go low top i just think they got a little bit more style a little bit something about them similar aesthetic but in the low they kind of do it a little bit better in my opinion but you do you now moving up the outfit we'll move on to the trousers and you've got two options here you can play it safe or you can go bold and we have seen Mr. Josh Steele go bold on a number of occasions. And a patterned trouser such as this one is a bold choice, but it's also a good choice. It's a good way to stand out. We see most people when they put outfits together tend to kind of focus on the top half. Whereas if you're kind of going straight in with some crazy trousers and patterned trousers, people are going to notice you. So if you want to turn some heads, patterned trousers is the way to do it. As a rule, if you're going to go patterned trousers, I wouldn't recommend going pattern top unless you're going for a kind of co-ord. Say stick to one patterned item. Uh, so if you're gonna go trousers, kind of take out a color from those trousers and use that on a plain top or just use a black and white top. Again, it's kind of similar to the Converse. You got those black and white tops, they can go with anything. Josh, like me, is a fan of the oversized fit. So yeah, I'd recommend buying a couple of sizes up to get that kind of looser, more comfortable, maybe a bit more fashionable, in my opinion, style. If you like tight tops, go for it. Who am I to say otherwise? Now, as we move on into the cold weather, putting away those shorts, getting out those jumpers. In terms of jumpers, we often see Josh in a lot of team wear. So whether that's the British basketball, Giants last year, Scorchers this year. Team wear is a great way to kind of add your own personal style, to rep your team, show off kind of your interests and what you're into. Unfortunately, the BBO is pretty dead on casual wear at the moment. That is a bit of shade. I've had a lot of conversations with people just saying, we just want some jumpers. We just want some kind of, some hoodies, some pullovers, not the Kappa ones, not tracksuit ones, just kind of casual jumpers. I think Plymouth have got a range, but to my knowledge, they're the only ones. Let me know if I'm wrong. If other teams are releasing them, that's a good thing. Hopefully teams in the BBL are gonna start releasing a lot more merch, more key rings, more jumpers, that kind of thing. So hopefully the casual wear, the team wear comes, comes soon. A similar kind of vibe you can go for is the like American, collegiate style jumpers I'd say and you can get them pretty much anywhere and they're a good staple they tend to be kind of block colors so they will go well with your pattern trousers now lastly if we're going to sum up Josh's accessory game in one word it is drum roll please pause for dramatic effect understated Josh when it comes to jewelry shows us that more isn't always more don't have to be dripping in chains, weighing your neck down. This guy often just goes for the kind of simple chains in gold or silver. Just the single chain is a great place to start if you don't necessarily wear a lot of jewelry. And then you can start wearing more, more outrageous stuff if you wanna. So there we go. Now you are all clued up on the Josh Steele drip. We've got inspiration that we can use from Mr. Steele himself to improve our outfits. I wanna see you guys in a lot of pattern trousers for BBL games. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe, Leave a little comment telling us whose style you want to see next. Any people from in and around British basketball. So whether this is BBL players, WBBL players, Brits abroad, maybe Jeremy Sohan. I'm sure we'll definitely look at Jeremy Sohan's style sooner or later. If you are inspired, hit us up over on Instagram. Tag us in your pics at bbl.fits. And if we're feeling them, if we're liking them, 
might give them a little share and give us a little follow while you're over there. But thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.